Synergy ISDE How-To Video – Basic Debugging of a Synergy Project After viewing this video, you will be able to launch a debug session in e -squared Studio and start a simple debug session. We will highlight a few simple things about the debug session windows. We will be showing the setup for a debug session along with talking briefly on some of the basic debug windows that can assist you in working with a project. For this example, we will be using the DKS7G2 Developers Kit. Launch e -squared Studio with your selected workspace. If you don't have an open project, you will need to right-click on your project and select Open Project. Make sure the project has been built in debug mode. Select the Hardware Debug option in the menu that pops up when you click the arrow next to the Build button on the toolbar. Once the project is complete, select the arrow next to the Debug button and select the Debug Configurations option. Go to the section on the left panel titled Renesas GDB Hardware Debugging and open the section if needed using the triangle on the left margin. Click on the button on the bottom labeled Debug. After a few moments, as the debug session launches, you may see a dialog box asking you to confirm that it is OK for e -squared Studio to switch from the build perspective to the debug perspective. It is recommended that you check the box to remember your decision and select Yes. At this point, e -squared Studio is in a debug session and you are connected to your target device. The debug view shows the hierarchy of the program being debugged level by level. The window with the variables view Breakpoints view, registers view, etc. will allow you to examine and change various values as you debug a program. In the editor view, you can see indicators of the current PC and also set breakpoints on the source lines. The windows holding many other views shown here allow access to other advanced debug information and other features to be covered in a later video. Some of the buttons on the Eclipse toolbar allow access to debugging controls. In the debug view, we want to highlight a few of the button controls that you will need to be familiar with to use the debugger, and they are the download button, reset micro button, load ancillary file, restart, instruction and assembly level stepping. On the main toolbar, we have our debug controls for stepping through the program along with run controls. Skip all breakpoints, run till next breakpoint, pause program execution, stop execution and terminate debugging, disconnect from target without program termination, step into, step over, step out of, and instruction assembly level stepping. Now here's an example we will source step over. Source step into, run, pause, with assembly level stepping off. After you have seen this video, we hope that we have covered some of the basic points that surround the use of eSquared Studio in debugging an application. Thank you for watching.